Number 94, potassium hydrogen phthalate, which is KHC8H5O4, or KHB, is used in many laboratories, including general chemistry laboratories, to standardize solutions of base. KHP is one of only a few stable solid acids that can be dried by warming and weight. A 0.3420 gram sample of KH. C8H5O8 reacts with 35.73 mils of a sodium hydroxide solution, NaOH, in a titration, right? What is the molar, the molar concentration of the NaOH? And then they give me this lovely formula here. Okay, cool. So they gave me a balanced equation. They gave me a gram amount, right? They're looking for a molarity of the NaOH. So first thing I'm going to do is I'm just going to write the equation big. <laughs> So KH, CAH5O4, I don't care about the states. And as I'm looking at this formula, I don't see any coefficients, which always tells me to just take a minute and just see if it's balanced, right? Is it a coincidence that they're all one-to-one -one relationship? Or maybe it is balanced, let's see. So, I'm scanning it, and what do you guys think? I think it's balanced. I don't see anything wrong with it, right? One potassium, one potassium, one sodium. Yeah, we're good. So, let's see. They told us that we're, we have a 0 0.3420 gram sample of that KHP, right? AKA this huge big compound. So I'm gonna put that over here. 0 0.3420 grams. And it's reacting completely with the sodium hydroxide. They told us that we had 35.7, 35.73 mils of it. And we want the molar concentration. Molar, molarity, concentration means concentration. So we need to get the uh, molarity, right? So if they're asking me questions about this, right, they give me a molarity, they give me a volume. Is there any formula that I know that has to do with molarity and a volume? Yeah, right? It's molarity equals moles divided by liters. If we're looking for the molarity, that means that I should know how many moles of NaOH I have and what's the liters. Now in here, they gave me the mils, so maybe the first thing that I should do is just convert the mils into liters, because I need liters on the bottom. How do I go from mils to liters? Just divide by 1,000. So 0 0.03573 liters. Okay. But the, the issue here is that I know the liters now, but what don't I know? Oh, I don't know the moles. So I got to find the moles first of NaOH, and then I can do that. That's the thing. I first have to find out how many moles of NaOH I have, and then I can do this formula. So maybe I'll erase this for now. That's why they gave you information of the other compound. We need to use the stoichiometry, right, and the stoichiometric ratio and the the flow chart to go from grams of the KHP to moles of NaOH. We know that flow chart. We love that flow chart. <laughs> we might not love it, but it's a good tool. It's this guy, right? We've seen it time and time again. So let's just, let's just work with it, right? They're starting us off with the KHP in grams. So I'm just going to really extend this out. So I have Actually, I'll start over here. I'll say 0 0.3420 grams of the KHC8H5O4. I can get the moles of that compound. KHC8H5O4. And then I can get the moles of the other compound, right? That would be moles of B. And since I just have to stop at moles, I don't need to get the grams. So don't need to go that far in this case. And there you go. 
Now, I just want to just make a point here, guys. We cannot just write KHP. This is like a symbol, you know, like a, I guess an acronym for uh, potassium hydrogen phthalate, right? But this is the actual compound. So when we have to take the molar mass, we have to take it of these elements, not these three, okay? Because these are actual elements as well. But don't be tricked, okay? All right, here we go. Let's start from the beginning. 0 0.3420 to 0 grams of the KHC8H5O4 times by the ratio, throw that unit on the bottom, KHC8H5O4, and then just look over to see where we're going. We're going to moles, KHC8H5O4, okay, mole and gram ratio of the same compound, that's always the periodic table. And if we're using the periodic table, it's always one mole. Get the molar mass and put it next to the gram. So let's get the molar mass of KHC8H5O4. So K39.1 plus a hydrogen, 1.008, plus 8 carbon, so 8 times 12.01, plus 5 hydrogens, K, and then plus 4 oxygens, so I get a big, big number. Don't be scared. 205.228. Cancel out the unit, and we move on. We're not at where we want to be. We want to be at moles of NaOH. So throw the moles of the KHC8H5O4 on the bottom, and then the moles of the NaOH on the top. NaOH. A mole-to-mole -mole relationship of different compounds is always using the balanced equation, aka the coefficients. That's why we have to check that this was balanced, and which it is. So there were no coefficients in front of either the KHC8H5O4 and the NaOH. That just means that I have one of each. It's a one-to-one -one relationship. So for every one mole of NaOH, I need one mole of the KHC8H504. And now we can find out the moles of that. So let's do it. 0.342 divided by 205.228. And I'm not going to round just yet because this is technically not the answer. So I'll say 1666. Uh, that should be good enough, I think. We'll say 6664. And that's the moles of the NaOH. So now I found out what the moles was, right? And maybe I'll just put it in the blue. This is 0 0.0016664 moles. So now let's just do the math. And maybe I'll box this off maybe over here. Beauty, actually. Yeah, I think, I think that's good. We want to find the molarity, so just as a refresher, molarity equals moles over liters. So molarity would be the moles that we just found out. I'm not going to put the units because I know we have the right units. So 0016664 divided by the liters that we converted earlier, 0.035573. And now we can just figure it out, right? So what's that molarity? Let's get it. Uh, 0.0016664 divided by 0 0.03573. And if I need sig figs, I see that I have four sig figs here. I have four sig figs here. So I need four sig figs. So... 0 0.04664. So that first four was a little bit ugly. Four, so oh, four, six, six, four. And there you go. That, oopsie.
Maybe I'll just bring this down a little bit. There you go. Pull this a little over and call it a day. So that's the molarity of the NaOH solution that we needed. And there you go. Hopefully this helped, guys. Let me know in the comments. Thank you so much for viewing the video. I, I love helping you guys out. So just let me know in the comments how you're doing, all right? Thank you so much. And if you want to help us out, press the subscribe button. That would help us out tremendously. Just gets the word out there that this cool service exists. Thank you. And I'll see you all in the next lessons, okay? Have an awesome day. Bye-bye.